Buying a hose is not just about capacity, it's about capability, reliability, and your peace of mind. Select from our wide range of quality hoses in the knowledge that we have personally crimped and hydrostatically tested the finished product to one and a half times the recommended operating pressure as required by Australian standards. Our ability to test the widest variety of hoses and provide certification is just the start. Our on-site testing capabilities minimise downtime to your business and prevent dangerous and costly situations occurring. Powell Industrial, leading the industry in hose management services at convenient locations around Australia. Crunch game tonight, you want to stay in the top two, how's yeah. that going to go? Yeah, for sure. Look, um, it, hopefully the guys can uh, take a bit more enthusiasm in the game than they did last week. I think they um, turned up and just thought it would happen for them. Uh, this week they've got to get a bit more desperate and a bit more sort of a determination in that 25-yard area to score goals and get on, stay with the ball. Yeah, so that's, that's the plan basically is to um, keep that ball and get value for money in the 25. And because it is a crunch game, the players feeling a bit of pressure, how are they going? Yeah, they're not doing too bad so far. You know, I think the, the biggest thing is that as teams get towards the finals, you know, we're, we're going into the bottom half of the season now, so they've got to lift themselves up. It's not going to be just turn up and play anymore. It's going to be every game's going to require some effort to get to the next level. So to get them ready for the finals, because that's what it's about. We're all getting ready for the finals now. So Tristan, top of the table. Good work? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, the boys have had a good year so far, so it's good to see they're going well. So. And tonight against Balimba, how are you going to play them? Uh, well, hopefully we just hold on to the ball and just uh, play our game, have a bit of fun, and that's all that matters. And Tristan, the uh, the boys, uh, no pressure on them at the moment? No, nah, I don't think so. I don't put any pressure on them. I make sure they go out there and have fun. If they have fun, they play their best hockey, so that's all that matters. Cameron, we're underway. Powell Industrial Action tonight. Pine River St Andrews versus Balimba, 1v3. Comes to the tackle, gets dispossessed, but Randall cleans up. Out comes Kettlewell. It's Petzer, in fact, makes the tackle. Over the back line we go. Have their practice before the game, so let's see how Kettlewell goes on this particular occasion and get that ball out straight. That one's a lot better. Top of the circle. Profke's on it, keeps it low. Great save there from West in the back. Goes high onto the attack. There is Profke. Comes in, follows it up, puts the ball in the back of the net. Saints are on the board, 1-0. Well, persistence pays off. First drag flick was a beauty, but nicely saved. Comes up and Profke lines it up, puts it into the back of the line. He moves away, it looks like. It'll come out to Hoff. So here we go. It's actually, in fact, gone to Randall. He has the shot. It's gone high. And that'll be a, uh, a free hit to Saints at the top of the circle. Well, I, was, uh, I don't know if it even got out of the circle if we have a look at the replay. But whatever happened, it wasn't a great shot. I don't think it even got out of the circle, but it was definitely... Mog picks up Bowles, throws that ball inside the circle. It's gone high, play on. Ben Gray has a shot, puts it in the back of the net. That's how you score, bang, goal. One all, Balimba, Pond River, St Andrews. Well, for nothing, the players stood around. They watched the ball go high. Umpire said play on. Ben Gray just runs in there, turns around, bang, back of the box. Yeah, what a brilliant strike there. The quickness of that tomahawk on the back stick side is the thing to watch there. It's good the way he just brings it under control, turns, pulls the trigger. It's time. He gave him absolutely no, well, microseconds. Profke with a great ball finds Hart inside the five, gets to the top of the circle, keepers out, ball goes through, keeper makes a save, there's the touch, there's a ball gone into the back of the net, up the other end of the field. You can't even blink in this game. Pine River St Andrews have got two. Well, it was a great ball from Profke to find Hart. Hart, keeper makes a save. And, and it looked like... Top uh, of the circle again. It goes to him. That's outside. Keeps it on the ground. Save there from Profke. I think Brown's made the save, but it's gone into Profke is how I saw that. Another penalty yeah, corner. Yeah, it was a good push out. And the trap was a little bit untidy, but Hoff managed to get a lot on it. The rebound couldn't be controlled, and it rolls onto the feet. Well, the game up at this end. Let's see what they can do. Traps made. Layoff. Goes to the stick of Thornton. Gets that save there from Wes. Profke still on it. Outside. Now he's in. Shoots wide. Well, it's a nice push out and a good layoff to the left. And the first shot 
Oh, nicely blocked that first shot, and Matt West had to make a nice save. That's a uh, good running from the back runner there. Picked up the defence. Hard away quickly. Throws that ball through. Over the top, inside the circle goes Kyle Jackson and will get the short corner. Yeah, Kyle Jackson did very well. Very strong over the ball. And despite the fact that he was checked a number of times, the umpire played good advantage. Playing advantage there, gets checked again. They confer penalty. So we're off again. Hart's on it this time. Makes the strike underneath West. That's gone in the back of the net. That's the third one for Pine River St Andrews. 21 minutes to go in this second half. Oh, this is a beauty. And again, Pine River St Andrews do the penalty corner well. And nothing Matt West can do. Comes to Hoff, picks it up. Knocks it across. Onto the side is Mog. Saved there from Brown over the back line. Oh, it's interesting. Oh, that looked like a, uh, a high first shot. So I'm surprised it's not a 16. But a little variation, and Hoff just mucks it up a little, I think, and the runners are able. But uh, Saints are not going to make the job even for him. Profke's ball goes in. West's got to make the save. Sinclair away. Brown. Sinclair falls for him. Away they go. Fraser knocks it across. Mog shoots. Saved at the back there. Well, that was good work from Sinclair to find the man free. That was Matthew Fraser. He got it across to the far side to Mog. Mog. Fraser does well for Bloomer to get the free hit. Bowls on it. Goes inside the circle on the back stick. Mog puts it into the corner. Look out. Under two minutes. They've got to come back. Oh, that was a good ball to get into the circle and find Mog. And for once, upon Pine River's defence aren't quite tight enough on him. And he gets the back stick shot away. Nice, Tomer. That will be the end of the game. Hart's got it. And it's the end of the game. Pine River's St Andrews victorious over Bulimba. That'll keep them on the top of the table. Matthew, not the result for Bulimba tonight, but it does keep in the top four. Yeah, not the result we wanted. Um... They're a hard team to play Saints and we haven't really done too well against them this whole season. I think um, intensity was good this game but we need to get in front at the back and our finishing at the top wasn't really spot on tonight. So. Yeah, that was what we thought up in the commentators as well. Um, and Coach talked about desperation. Didn't come out in the first half, certainly in the last 15 minutes was there. Yeah, um, I guess when towards the end of the game we saw we wanted it more um, but at the beginning... Yeah, we need to improve on that. Look, put you in good stead, I said, still in the semi-finals race, and um, obviously you know what you've got to beat towards the end of the year. Yeah, um, hopefully we can do it at the end of the year. Um, good game tonight, 3-1, one, one versus three, you came out with the points. Yeah, cheers, it was, um, it was a good game, we were strong at the back, but at the end of the day they fall back hard towards the end there, and they, got a, they snuck a goal back towards the end, so it's a credit to them for fighting back, it was a good game though. Yeah, it certainly was. Plenty of ball and um, under pressure at the back. Um, didn't crack, obviously put the two goals in, but uh, came ahead with the points. Yeah, well, one thing we've been trying to sort of focus on is sort of have confidence on the ball. So even when you're under pressure, just, just sort of know in your mind, just back yourself and just hope for the best, I guess. And you and Zach Profke certainly um, do well at the back. You obviously have played together before, obviously this year as well, but you work well in the combinations. Yeah, um, this year especially we've bit, sort of been the two fullbacks with a couple others helping out as well. And I like playing with him and I hope he likes playing with me. So it's, um, it's good. He's solid at the back actually. He's really good. So keeps number one for Pine River St Andrews. Obviously that march towards semi-finals is coming and, uh, and well done tonight. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, it, it, well, there's 10 weeks or so left, so... We'll just try and keep this form, but uh, all goes well.